after drying, the beans are transported to chocolate mills in the American colonies in Europe? Yes. Mm -hmm. The chocolate that George Washington and others in the 1700s ate came by boat from Central and South America. They're coming to the northern colonies. When the beans arrive at the mill, the second stage of the chocolate making process begins. During this stage, the beans are transformed into blocks of chocolate. And how does that happen? Well, the cocoa beans, when they arrive at the mill, need to be roasted. Once roasted, and we're looking for a medium roast, mm -hmm. we will need to remove the outer shell. So you remove the outer shell, and then we end up with the roasted cocoa bean. Wow. What are these little streaks of silver? That is the cocoa butter. Now that roasted cocoa bean is equal parts cocoa butter and cocoa solid. Huh. We're gonna take that and we're gonna put it into our mortar. This is a mortar, this is a pestle. The next step is to take our roasted beans, mm -hmm. put them into our mortar. Go ahead and add your bean. <laughs> we're gonna break these beans down into what are called nibs. The next step is to take the nibs that we've ground up in with our mortar and pestle. We're gonna lay it out onto this matate and using a combination of heat and friction, we're gonna break down the cocoa solids and melt the cocoa butter. Is that because heat causes a chemical change when it transforms a solid into a liquid? Exactly. After we have brought this back into a chocolate liquid, a chocolate liquor, we're gonna take a mold and we're going to pour this now silky smooth chocolate into the mold. Once the chocolate is set up, you pop it out of the mold and now it's ready to ship to the consumer. Like George Washington? Yep, the people just like George Washington. However, chocolate was also affordable to most people living in the American colonies. Because of the American colonies' proximity to the cacao plantations in Central and South America, they enjoyed greater access to chocolate than those Europeans. It took anywhere from about a month to almost three months, whereas travel up the east coast of the American colonies would only take a few weeks. Wow, I had no idea. Americans have had a love affair with chocolate for a long time. Both George and Martha Washington loved chocolate. Washington ordered blocks as small as one pound mm -hmm. up to orders as large as 50 pounds. These blocks were shipped by boat to the Washington's home, Mount Vernon, here in Virginia. 